Sorry, I'm late. No, don't worry. It's so nice to see you not on a screen. My sat nav crashed like. Oh, um. You can actually say you like it. You don't need to. Babe, you're frozen. Yeah, there is a bit of a draft, actually. Well, maybe I could come over there and warm you up. Oh! In his first one, it doesn't matter who was in that ring. In that back room, he was quiet. He was visibly nervous. It was... He's not like a coach and boxer. Just like two friends. He young. He, I'm young. He understands me, I understand him. Like a friend. He tired is give me feel I'm living I'm I'm a human I'm real yeah I'm tired I boxing and I feel I feel real. People turn around and say that you don't get the same love from a rescue dog, and then you do a puppy. Trust me, rescue dogs give you so much more reward if you're happy to put the time and effort in. If it is an abusive sort of situation they've come out of, and then they've learned from new human beings that are compassionate with them that life isn't actually that bad, or we're not going to do this. To you. The amount of love they'll give you is ten times more than some of the dogs that you can go and buy. It's not about recognition for me. Everybody says to us that we're the heroes for rescuing dogs and stuff. We're not. We're just here to help them and get them on the way. The real heroes are the ones that actually offer them a home and with the right training and the right guidance, they actually flourish and become different dogs. Like Sutton Who? I'm here on the banks of the Deben, and there are boats. There are boats, and there are more boats. Everybody has a boat. There are people still making a living from the sea and the river all over here. Obviously, we now live in an interconnected world. Back in the early Middle Ages, everyone would have made a living off the river. If you wanted to get any sort of way ahead in life, you'd look to the sea, you'd look to the river, you'd look to the waters, and someone controlling those waters endless amounts of power, endless. I cross over a bridge, leaving the water behind me as the outlying trees of Rendlesham Forest begin to rise. A little further on, I begin to see the unmistakable upcoming signs of an English heritage site. This road's kind of intense. 